Hi, I'm Gigi. Welcome to a new tutorial. Are you ready to take your AI image to the next level? Today, we are diving into the image to image function, and trust me, you won't want to miss it. To use this function, we need to have an image first. So let's generate one using the base model called Better Mix NM. If you like the aesthetic, go ahead and download. Friendly reminder, we should download these two embedding models as well to get the best result. If you don't know how to place the models, well, good news. In my next video, I'm going to discuss the five types of models that are supported by Stable Diffusion. So please subscribe to my channel, stay tuned, and get ready to learn something new. All right, let's generate one image. I just lazily copy the prompt from CV AI, and here we go. Image looks cute. And then we just click Send to Image to Image button for the next step. In Image to Image, we can use Image plus Text as the input prompt. Here we have two buttons. By clicking Interrogate Clip button, Stable Diffusion can analyze the image and summarize the key features of the image in natural language form and populate it to the text prompt area. If this is the first time you click the button, it will take a bit of time to download the package first. Here we have it. However, you can see it's not intelligent enough. The part of the text looks a little bit confused. The button below has the same function, but it's in a computer-readable language, basically a string of words. Looks how many words it generated. Well, I just happened to notice that some of the words are not very under-18 friendly. I decided to tap in my own prompt for the demonstration and just a quick study of how to add tag weight to the tag. You can use this round bracket to add weight to the tag. One layer of round bracket equals to 1.1, two layers equals to 1.2. An easier way to define the weight is that you can write a round bracket followed by a tag, a colon, and a number. This number refers to the weight of the tag. We can use a square bracket to decrease the tag weight in the same logic. For now, I want to keep it simple. Let's type in a girl and a moon. And the most important parameter in image to image function is the noise. The denoise scale adjusts how much the image looks closer to the prompt image. If the denoise scale is lower, the output will be more in line with the input image. On the other hand, the higher the denoise scale value, the more likely it's drift away from the prompt image. The first scale I use is 0.5. This is what we get. The background includes a new moon while the character stays almost the same. Next, I push the scale to the maximum as 1. As you can tell, the output looks totally different from the original prompt image. It's also a good time to use XYZ plot to get the reference sheet now. So let's set the denoise value as 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and all the way to 1. And let's take a look of the difference. We can tell that when the denoise number is set to 0.5, that's where the image starts to show the minimum changes, and output really starts to drift away from the input image starting from denoise value set it to 0.6. But we can also observe that the general composition of the image and the main character posture stays similar to the original one under this specific model. Next, we will talk about the second tab, Sketch function. The se this function allows us to introduce a specific color into the image prompt. When the generation process starts, it will pick up this color information and add it to the final output. Let's say I want to add this turquoise bow tie on her waist and the same color to her eyes, then hit the Generate button. Here we go. The turquoise bow tie is on her costume now, but now the eyes. Let's examine what was wrong. Okay, I find that I left the purple eyes in the text prompt, so let's delete this line and give it another try. Perfect! I'm very impressed by the result, and it's also just very fun to play with this function. That's all for today's video, and we'll continue to talk about image-to-image -image function in our next tutorial. Stay tuned, GG out!